testing the action four and action five in low light, not low light setting right now. It's a normal setting. I just want to see how the cameras perform. I did a test with the Ace Pro and Action 5 Pro in low light, and it was difficult to pick a winner. But this is more or less identical, identical cameras. There are some hardware updates on the 5 Pro. Can you see the difference? Exactly the same setting, no low light settings. So it's gonna be fun to see if there is a difference. I'm gonna to run today as I did the other day. I don't think I can do 11K today, maybe eight. I've been running four days straight now, so yeah, you need a rest day. But we're gonna test it first in normal mode and then switch to the low light settings on both camera because I think it's important now to see if the 5 Pro actually is an update. We all know that DJI has a couple of things to fix on this 5 Pro. So is it, uh, is it needed to upgrade? I don't know. You tell me, but this is low light. The only thing I really like on the 5 Pro is the screen. That's it. It's more or less exactly the same camera with some tweaking. Let's keep running. We are 2K now. We have some left. Shake your body, what we gonna do? About it, shit, shit, shake your body, what we gonna do? About it, shit, shit, shake what we gonna do? About it, shit, shit, shake your body, what we gonna do? About it, shit, shit, shake. Getting close to where I'm gonna turn, it's only gonna be 8k today, but it's a normal video mode one way and a low light settings the other way. I just want to see the difference between in the image quality. The lighting condition is more or less the same, of course, it's gonna be a little bit darker on the return, but this is a good way to see if there is a, a massive difference in the low light settings and if there is a massive difference on these two cameras and that you actually need to upgrade if you want the best image quality in poor light conditions. So there's a lot of discussion now about the Action 5 Pro and people are a little bit disappointed. That's typical. Are we gonna return soon? I'm at 4K pretty soon. And then we're gonna see uh, if there is a difference. This is important for a lot of people. Also for me, because I use my action camera as this way, actually, as action camera. So uh, 500 meters more to go, and then we're gonna turn around and switch to the low light settings and see if there is a difference. And you can spot any difference also in stabilization. So let's run a little bit more and return and next time you see me I'm gonna be in the low light setting. Switch now to low light mode on both cameras. You have a dedicated super night mode on the Action 5 Pro and low light enhancement on the Action 4. So can you see a difference? We are at the same spot as we was before in normal video mode. So I'm gonna put the, the video side by side so you can check it out. But there's so much discussion now about the low light modes on action cameras and is it really necessary? Do you actually need it? Is the action camera meant for this? And I do understand that people think so because 
like some of my friends on YouTube say, it's meant for action and sport and activities, not only in daylight. But there are limitations on action camera and that's due to the size of the cameras and what's possible to put in them. And it seems to me like yeah, people are expecting maybe too much. Uh, but it's fun to see companies pushing the limit on what's possible on small action cameras and if it's actually possible to tweak them anymore um, GoPro seems to be out of the dance now they don't deliver at all of course in bright daylight it looks really good but in situation like this it's not possible to use in GoPro so people have been asking me to do a low light comparison with the Action 5 Pro I'm gonna do it but it's I don't see the point actually because it's it's crap it's not possible to see yourself even even in lightning conditions like this and again I'm shooting in all auto people are saying to me you need to tweak the camera so and so but for me I just want to show people that this is what you get when you're using the modes and the presets that are in the camera because over 90 percent of all people are going to use the cameras in this way so that's why i need mean that the camera needs to be adjusted for everybody so it's just to press record and that's actually the point with an action camera just hit record and capture the moment that's the point so uh, we're gonna keep on running it seems to be nine kilometers today so it's not that bad another day running we are at soon 7k good run today too and fun to test the action 4 against the action 5 pro and low light i did this exactly the same test with the ace pro the other day mixed result i must say it's a little bit darker now so this isn't completely fair but it's gonna be nice to see the difference noise image quality some people say that the action 4 actually looks a little bit cleaner it's a little bit darker yes but this is the low light setting on the action 4 and remember one thing the exact same sensor on this camera so it should be possible to get the same result actually the action 4 pro has supposed to have a nano chip which improve the overall image quality but i saw some videos and i must agree it seems like dj is raising the shadows too much on the action 5 pro so it looks a little bit yeah you can't see the details as much and that can ruin the footage especially in daylight but this is what you get with an action camera and it's eight o'clock and the sun is down for a long time ago and no street light here so it's completely pitch black but we are soon back a little bit shorter today than it was planned but that's fine so let's keep going I think 
we're gonna wrap it up. It's way too dark, but low light mode again on both camera. We have street light right here. Can you see a major difference in image quality, noise? Do the Action 5 Pro look way too sharp and strange and artificial and all of that? Does the Action 4 look cleaner? Darker, yes, but cleaner image. This is what you get late at night in Norway. So what do you think? And I'm soon done with my run. Just 1k left. So I'm gonna wrap it up here, but tell me what you think down in the description and what you think DJI need to do. The Ace Pro 2 is expected pretty soon. We we all thought that first October the 1st was the date, but it doesn't seem like that. It seems to be a little bit later. And I do think that DJI is waiting to give a firmware update to the DJI Action 5 Pro when the Ace Pro 2 is launched because DJI must have something planned. If not, the Ace Pro is gonna pass it and be better, pass by it. I mean, yeah. So what do you think? Is this usable or does it look bad? Well, I think it's important to test cameras like this so people themselves can decide yes I'm gonna make videos adjusting the settings and playing with them and see what's what's look best but like I said many times before this is for the subscribers and viewers that use the camera in full auto and normal mode and it's pretty dangerous to run here as you probably can see but I've been training really good lately and it's so good to be back again so uh, why not give me a thumb up and subscribe and tell me what you think about the Action 4 and the Action 5 Pro the battery life on the Action 5 Pro is insane it's so good yeah as always I'll see you on the next one Bye.